welcome back to Watch The Time. So I'm really pleased to be able to bring you another watch that I featured on my AliExpress 1111 sale video. This is the Pagani design, it's the PD1736. I really like the look of this watch. It's sort of a cross between a diver and a sports type watch. And it's got an open heart and it's gonna be the first watch that I've looked at that's got the Seiko NH39 movement. The open heart movement from uh, the NH series of movements. It's going to be very similar spec. What does it look like? How does it perform? What does it add to the watch? Does the watch hit the mark because it uses it? Is it does it work being open heart? Um, these are all the questions I had, and I'm sure that other people would have had as well. So that's the reason I featured it on my video. I really like the look of it. They got the black, blue, and green. I've opted for the green because I know a lot of people probably go for the blue, but I do like me a green watch. So that that was a big part of the reason. But um, I'm hoping, as I always say, by the end of the video, you'll know if this is for you. If it is, please use the link in the description. It is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more money. Uh, but, but with that being said, I'll stop really harping on. I do appreciate you tuning back in. And with that being said, let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. Hi, guys. So this is the watch. Do bear with me. I've got a bit of a cold and a cough, so there might be little uh, segments that I cut out if I get a bit of a coughing fit. But... Yeah, usual packaging from Bagani Design inside. You get a cleaning cloth, warranty card, instruction manual down the side. And that's it. In a foam, um, no watch removal, like sizing tool or nothing. To get the fact it's not on a bracelet. But let's just put that all to the side. That's not why you want to see the video. We've seen that box many, many times now. And yeah, this is the, the watch. It's the PD1736. Um, I won't spend too long going over things really as I say because I don't know how long my voice is going to hold out uh, Yeah, struggled a little bit getting the sticker off it tends to be the way but um, yeah PD1736 you've got black and blue I'll bring that up now so you can have a look at the sort of other colour options I went for the green I do like that dial in terms of the, how it sunbursts and sort of like looks fume in certain places with how it's done very cool Inside it's running a Seiko NH39 movement. I'll bring some information up about that movement now. Uh, yeah, you've seen this. this the, the main move difference between this movement uh, and the other NH series is this is the open heart variation of the movement. So it's still 24 joules, 21,600 beats per hour. And all that good stuff. Rugged, reliable. But as I say, open heart. And obviously it has got an open heart on the front of the watch. So that makes sense. The case construction, so the construction of this watch is a bit of a mixture really. So the case, outer part of the exhibition case back, the case, the quite pronounced lugs, the bezel aside from the insert and crown and pin buckle clasp, all 316L stainless steel. We'll get onto the rubber elements in a few moments. The case thickness of this watch is 13.4 millimeters. The case diameter, I was measuring sort of up here uh, not obviously excluding the crown guards and stuff, it was coming at 439 millimeters. And when you include the crown, it was coming at 47.4 millimeters. The lug width on this is 24 millimeters, and the lug to lug tip to tip is 51.4 millimeters. So, quite, quite a beefy boy, uh, I think we'll agree. Uh, not small. The case back is the exhibition, as I said, it's mineral crystal and it is screwed down just showing off that NH39 movement again that you would have seen just a second ago the bezel is a 120 click unidirectional bezel it looks like a ceramic bezel from what I can see um, I'll give it a quick turn yeah decent actually not, not bad uh, not bad at all lines up nicely no real bounce no back play yeah and nice sort of grip on there not a very thick bezel but it's very easy to grab hold of nice grip on there yeah nicely done slightly coin edge but it has got segments cut out so yeah that's that's what you're dealing with with the bezel the crown is situated at the three o'clock it is a screw down crown i'll undo that because i'll be changing the time when we look at the dial in just a moment yeah screw down crown logo on there like i said i struggle to get off the rest of the sticker, they, they sort of the bane of my life. Those blue stickers they put on there. The, the strap it's on is a, is a nylon. It's a nylon strap, but it has got sort of like a, a leather, rubber sort of material underneath. Probably more leather, yeah. So le leather at the bottom, and it is nylon at the top. 
it started to fray as soon as I got it. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. But that's the strap. Pin buckle clasp, quite a substantial pin buckle clasp, as you can see. Nicely brushed. Actually tried a little bit of a faceted edge, polished edge on there. Obviously signed with Pagani design on there also. The crystal covering the dial, unlike the bottom, on the top you have got a, you have got a sapphire crystal. So it's not quite a sapphire sandwich, but um, you've got a sapphire on the top, which is probably what people would argue is more important. The water resistance of this watch, you'll also be able to see on the dial, is 200 meters. So that would give you 20 atmospheres of water resistance, and the weight will appear in the top right-hand corner. It's just above 100 grams, which when you consider it's on a nylon strap, that's a fair bit of heft, I must say. But let's have a look at the dial now, guys, in a bit more detail. I'm going to try and tilt it a little bit because the lack of AR coating is causing a bit of a problem. But, um, yeah, so look at the dial now, guys. So there's no minute track. So setting the time was a bit of a problem. You've got to try and do it. Let me just give it a quick wipe. Increments of five so you can actually line it up correctly. I'll take the, the crown out now, actually. No ghost position, which is good. I'll put it around... I don't, I'll put it around there so you can see everything. Put it back in. You'll see you saw a hack. But um, no minute track going on the outer edge. Inside, all the buttons. Uh, so you've got circular indices and buttons. All of them are applied. And the hands are sort of skeletonized, but uh, only in the center. But you have got a sort of like arrows at the end as well. You've got a lollipop on the second hand. And I'll bring the loom shot up now, actually, guys. The loom on it's okay. Uh, no, no, not bad, not great. But, um, yeah, definitely more consistent now in terms of the application. Maybe a couple more layers would have been good. But that's the loom. Um, yeah, as, as I said before, nice green sunburst star. As I say, it almost looks fumey when you look at it going from sort of like lighter to darker. But that's just how, that's just the, like the way it plays with the light and stuff. And um, I think it looks really cool, actually. I do like the fact that it's, it's slightly darker at the bottom um, and it sort of accentuates... The sunburst effect going on. You've got Pagani design, so that looks doesn't look like it's applied. Looks like it's printed on automatic diver 200m, just over the three o'clock position. And either side of the baton at the six, you've got Japan movement, just highlighting the fact it is a Seiko NH series of movements. Take the crown out, as you'd have seen a moment ago. It does hack. Put it back in. It will start back up again. And the engagement with the crown's been no problem. Although the crown guards are quite substantial getting access to the crown and grabbing hold of it hasn't posed any issues whatsoever so that's a really good thing but um yeah that's that's the dial guys you've got a sub dial excuse me i didn't mention let me just go through that in a moment you'll see the sub dial up at a sort of 10 30 position if you take the crown out i'll just show you that very quickly if you turn the crown you'll see it gives you 24 hours so at the moment this is showing you this is four in the afternoon as you keep scrolling through now eight o'clock at night and now we're going to get to midnight, so it'll be 24 on there, and so on and so forth, guys. That's that's what it's showing there, so 24 hours. So when you set the time, be sure to make sure that you've looked at that, otherwise the 24 hours won't be correct. But um, as I say, that's the dial, guys. That's everything that's going on. Uh, all brushed in terms of the case, uh, but I quite like that. A little outer, faster edge on the exhibition case back, but the watch itself looks very rugged. Uh, good, like, good size, bit of heft on there. For the larger wrist but let me just pop it on the wrist quickly speaking about that give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist my wrist is just above a seven inch wrist for your reference and this is what it looks like on me you've seen it in the outside shots as well i would have really liked to put it on a couple other straps but 24 mil was not going to work uh, i don't carry 24 mil straps just because i don't have any watches that are that size so there you are. That's that's the watch, guys. That's what it looks like on my wrist. Just give me a moment to take it off. Give it a quick wipe. And then that will take me on to what I think is pants and pucker about the watch. If you've ever watched before, you know I always start with pants. I like to go on a high with pucker. So what I think is pants is the size. I would have liked it to be a little bit smaller, if I'm honest. Maybe one or two mil smaller. And the lugs look too wide. So I'm going to mention that. Um, so yeah, the, the size, I don't think the lugs need to be quite as big as that. Lack of AR coating, as you can see, it is just playing havoc with the studio lighting, given you wouldn't normally see it, but, but um, the fact that it doesn't look like there's any AR, AR coating on there is really damaging how it looks. The lug width, as I mentioned, 24mm. I know it's quite a bit of a bigger watch, but it just looks miles too big. 22 would have been 
bang on in terms of lug width. And the strap, yeah, it doesn't feel too bad, but as you can see, it's fraying quite a bit, and it was like that when it arrived. So, yeah, the strap being like that isn't isn't really ideal. I'd rather it came in a bit better condition. So just to summarize what I think is, pants as I go with the size, lack of AR coating, lug width and strap. What I think is, pucker is the bezel. The bezel's cool. No bounce, no back play. Um, the clicks are very positive. Yeah, the bezel is is very, very good actually. I've had, this, you can get you quite a hit and miss sometimes with uh, Pagani Designs bezels, but this one is very, very good. The dial, as I've mentioned, in terms of sort of like the different tones of green you get from light green to dark, uh, I think it looks really, really nice. The movement, my first sort of foray into NH39s, so it was nice to see. Um, hopefully, we'll see a few more of them with some nice open heart designs coming to other brands, including Pagani Design and others on AliExpress. The crown, yeah, nice knurling on the crown, done nicely, nice purchase, good size, engagement's very, very positive. And the finishing, I do like the fact they've gone for an all brushed. It's a very satiny brush as well, not coarse, looks very, very nicely finished. Um, and yeah, the finishing's done again. I, I can seem to say it more and more often now with Pagani Design in terms of their finishing, and that can only be a, a positive thing. So just to summarize, what I think is pucker as I go with the bezel, the dial, movement, crown, and finishing. Or what I think is a pucker. And would I recommend this watch? Uh, I still would. Uh, it's going to be one that will probably appeal to people that like wearing big watches. Or I've got a slightly bigger wrist for obvious reasons given the dimensions. But I think there's still a lot to like about it. I still would go for the green. I'm a bit of a sucker for a green watch. But as I said, there is the black and blue that you'd have seen earlier also. But guys and girls, please let me know what you think about this watch, more importantly. And uh, maybe any other watches and stuff you'd like to see on the channel. And as always say, don't forget to like, subscribe. And always watch the time. Take care, guys. All the very best. <laughs>